Hey everybody, it's Carla. Today I'm painting a, bo a bouquet of flowers. I'm using acrylic paint and they're listed in the description below along with the brushes that I'm using. But I'm starting with a um, synthetic angle brush, um, fairly good size one for the background. And I'm mixing up different colors, purple, um, unbleached titanium, green. I just want, and I don't, I'm not mixing them real well. Um, I just want it kind of a mottled background. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up. I added some water to it. I'm gonna speed this up and um, just get the canvas covered down to where my table starts. And I'm leaving it very brush strokey, very choppy. So now with the back end of the brush, I'm just dotting in some um, color, some light color, some dark color, and then coming back with my brush and um, mixing it in, but still leaving it very mottled, uh, keeping a lot of brush strokes. If you get it too dark, just add some more of the unbleached titanium. Leave it very choppy. Now I'm mixing up some raw sienna and raw amber, and with the ruler, I'm gonna uh, paint in this line for my table and just fill it all in with that color. All right, now I'm mixing up a dark color with brown and black, and with my ruler again, I'm gonna draw this line for that trim piece in the back and then my boards in the front. So you wanna make sure that you angle them, like keep them the same distance apart in the back and then angle them out to the left on the left side and to the right on the right side. But still space them the same distance apart in the back. And then I'm just gonna come back in and kind of thicken those lines and darken them. I'm using my, just a small angle brush for this. And I wanna dry it. Okay, now I'm gonna start highlighting my wood. So I'm just mixing up a light color to kind of streak along the top of that trim piece back there. And then a darker shade to brush into the rest of the trim piece. Okay, now I wanna start shading the back end where the, the uh, table meets the trim, I guess, where the table meets the edge of the trim. And try not to make like a straight line across here, just make it kind of feathered out. And that just makes it look uh, shaded and kind of weathered right there. Now with this light color, I want to um, give it some dimension. So my light is coming from the right hand side. So it's kind of hitting the right edge of these boards and highlighting them. Now with the liner brush, I'm gonna come back in and just put in some little streaks of, you can barely see it, but um, little streaks of grain in the wood. And then I want to dry it again. And now with a white chalk pencil, um, I'm drawing in my vase. I put that straight line in the middle just to show myself where the middle is. And then whatever you do on one side, just do it on the other side. Um, it doesn't have to be the shape, shape of vase, but the sides need to somewhat match. Okay, so now I'm mixing up a color for my stems. And 
a lot of these won't show when you're finished but for the ones that do you want to make sure you get them in there so that's the base color and then I'm going to darken it and put a shadow on the left side of each stem because remember your light is coming from the right so now with the lighter shade I'm going to put that along the right hand side Now I want to uh, mix up a leaf color. So um, this is kind of a green, yellow, and purple mixture, but the purple just makes it darker. So on the ones that you want lighter, um, just use the green and yellow. Um, now there's a lot of leaves down in the vase. And remember your light is coming from the right hand side. so. Uh, your lighter leaves are going to be mostly on the right hand side um, so the vase is pretty full of leaves and then we want to put some leaves um, kind of coming out from where the flowers are going to be and then I'm just dotting in some greenery inside because some of it's going to show through the, the flowers between the flowers so different shades of green and then I want to draw it okay so down below my vase there's it's going to be there's going to be a dark line there and then up the shaded side is going to be dark And then the shadow is going to be cast to the left because the light is on the right. Okay, now with a really dark green, I'm going to put in some fallen leaves. And then I want to come back and highlight them. And everything laying on the table needs to have a shadow. Okay, now this is a round hog bristle brush. It's just a very cheap, scruffy hog, hog bristle brush. And I'm using just the plain purple first and then pick up some white and start highlighting. So most of the light color is going to be toward the right hand side. And then I clean the brush and I'm doing the same thing with the pink, with the magenta. some white with it or unbleached titanium and this kind of gives your flowers some dimension you don't want to cover up all of your dark pink just put some highlights on it and now putting a little cluster of white flowers in the center Okay, now with the small round brush, I'm just dabbing in some more detailed little flowers. And this allows me to uh, better define it, each little cluster. Now I'm putting in some more greenery. Now I've mixed up a lighter green and I'm highlighting some of my 
um, leaves that I've already put in. Okay, now I've got a little cluster of fallen flowers and I'm doing them the same way I did the top ones. Mixing up some water and some unbleached titanium and putting in my water in my vase. And this is real thin, so you're still going to be able to see stuff um, through it. And then on the right hand side, I mean, on the left, yeah, on the left hand side, uh, kind of darken that gray and then put the little streaks on the bottom and then on the left on the right hand side um, I'm putting a, a bright highlight and then on the top of the water and a streak down the the side of the vase okay now I'm mixing up some water and some green and tinting my um, water I want I want the water to be kind of green Putting a little highlight down on the bottom rim brightening that one up and brightening those up now I'm drying it to see if that's the color that I want and it's not I want more green in the water so just look at yours and see if you need to add more green to it or not And that is it guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching and for um, liking and subscribing and sharing. That really helps me out a lot. I appreciate your support.